Uh, the mindset of the summer is to get better as a team, to come more together as a team. Um, the senior classes in the past haven't been as close as I feel like our senior class is. We have a really good team bond and everything. Um, so we're just working together to come together more as a team and not just friends and everything. And I feel like we're doing a really good job of doing that. Uh, obviously the grind continues for you. Uh, have you seen yourself kind of improve a lot in the last um, few years? I didn't start playing offense line until my freshman year. Um, so. I did improve a lot, you know, just starting everything, but I feel like last year what, I didn't perform as good as I could, so this year being my senior year, I feel like I really need to step up for my team and do better. Uh, obviously, you're getting a lot of looks from schools. Uh, how do you kind of balance it with, with making sure you're finding the right place for you and also focusing on yourself? Um, just staying close to home, uh, so it make it easier for my family to come and watch and everything. Um, it's just a relationship with the coaches and see how the coaches react with each other and how the other players react with the coaches. You know, I've been on visits and I see how the other players react with their coaches and it's all about early relationships for me. Obviously, the last couple of years, the guys in the trenches have gotten a lot of looks from here and forward. You got Tippmann, uh, you got a bunch of guys going to IU and stuff. Uh, how, how much do you kind of build off of seeing a guy like Tippmann go over big and, and want to maybe follow in some kind of his footsteps? Um, you know, seeing other people from Fort Wayne go to college, especially big guys, you know, LJ, Joe, like you said, um, it's really inspiring because, you know, we're all really good athletes and we can do really big things at the next level. So just seeing them uh, succeed and go other big places, you know, it, uh, it's really helped me out, you know, watching them play and everything and having them there to help me and everything. Uh, what's it like getting recruited by the two? I mean, obviously you got both IU and Purdue on the list. Uh, what's it like having the two in-state schools really high on you already? Um, it's a good feeling because, you know, like they want you to come play and represent your own home state. So that's a really good feeling uh, and an opportunity to go represent my home state and show everybody what kids from Indiana can do. Is there any other plans to any other visits you're planning scheduled? Or? Uh, yeah, towards the end of July, uh, right now it's like a dead period in recruiting, but once it starts kicking back up and everything towards the end of July, I plan to make my way back to Purdue, IU, and up to Minnesota for the first time. Um, for me personally, I'm trying to get better at uh, trying to get faster and making my um, routes more sharper and crisp and trying to get off the ball and be my DB I'm going against. Uh, obviously, you always got an offer from Bowling Green, but you haven't, you haven't seen the field too much. Yeah. Uh, kind of, I mean, breakout season, what, what are you kind of looking forward to, to continuing to have your stock rise? Um, just hopefully do whatever my coach says to do in the games and not try to do that much to do my job, focus on the team and everything and just listen to coach. What was it like learning from a guy like Trevin Taylor and, and Griffin Little, the guys that, that are, are really making a statement on the field? Well, I had two great wide receivers leading me to um, success, Griffin and Taylor, I mean, Griffin and um, Trevin, and um, just those two being good leaders and showing me how to do stuff and fix my routes and all that was very good and it helped me a lot. Do you think being under the radar kind of helps you a little bit? Yeah, because being under the radar, when coaches came to look at them, then they would see who's under them and everything, and it helped me. Um, get a lot of looks and anything. Uh, what kind of receiver are you? I mean, because for a lot of people that haven't seen you, what are you, what kind of receiver are you? Um, I'm outside receiver and just like to go deep, run the ball, pretty tall, I guess. Uh, obviously, you've got two quarterbacks here. Uh, how how different? How much does it challenge to to work with two different guys? Um, well, both quarterbacks are very good quarterbacks. They can throw the ball. They can run. Um, there's not really a challenge either way. Both of them can really throw. So it's just make sure I can do my job and get open for them.